Good start. Polaris Indian dealership. Wow. They're quite busy today. Sure, take your time. I said, am I miles away? No, yeah, just go. Hi. That was with this guy. This is a dark horse, yeah. right? Why, why don't you stand here and look at this? All right, hold on. Water cooled. See, I like the gauges. Look at that. Yeah. See, <laughs> I wish the Goldwing display had these kind of features on it, you know? Current ride, ride time, distance. <clears throat> That's what I'm sticking my finger in the throat. Clear and start new ride. Look at that elevation change. That's sweet. That is cool. Voltage, <clears throat> compass, that's cool. There's a compass there. GPS. There's GPS, but gauges on the side. Just GPS. That's GPS. Oh, that's, so, that's easy to do so it. You can wow. do a screen with some split information or just this. That's nice. That actually is nice. I like the gauges too. They look no, good. I, I like that too. I like this. The fuel gauge, that's, that's pretty nice. What's this button do up here? All right, goes back to that. Oh, it changes. Same thing as this button. Same thing as that. How do you adjust the windshield height? Over here. There you go. See how happy that's cool. It's the best feature on the Goldwing, I'll tell you what. It is awesome. It doesn't change a whole lot, but that's okay. It makes a difference, you'd be surprised. That's a nice sound. When you get rolling, you hear it more. Ooh, it's Metallica. Nice. Let me get my parking brake off first. You good to go? I'm good, yeah. <laughs> he wasted no time, did he? That gets up and goes, wow. <laughs> Sounds nice. Nice bright taillights, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. When you get on it, the front end picks up. <laughs> Do you? 
That sure does sound nice on the road, wow. So how's that ride? Oh, ride's great. <laughs> Shift like a Harley, or is it more smooth than a Harley, shift-wise? Well, I'd say it shifts smoother. Does it? But that's not a big difference. Like mine doesn't shift terrible. Well, like a Harley has that Harley clunk, you know, or a little yeah, bit or clunk. none of that. Okay. It definitely shifts smooth. The uh, it's the got power, so that's far, for sure. It, it feels like it has. I mean, when you get on it, the front end will pick up. You yeah, can see it. Format. It switches down to standard mode. Then I really didn't feel much of a difference. They're both pretty good. <laughs> the GPS is great. You zoom in and out with a thumb button. You zoom in and out that way, which is just like on the handlebar. Yeah, I try, it, but uh. So to change, watch if you do this, you turn on. Now, you gotta let it get through this thing, yeah. yeah. But I really like the display. Oh, nice flash screen. Yes, the display. Watch that go up to ninety like that. The so gauges are good looking. I have to are. admit, it's very nice looking. Oh, yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah. This drop down gives you your rain mode. I knew yeah, that. Yeah, sport mode. Videos. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. That mute. That's kind of nice. Press it down and turn it side to side. That just mutes. Oh. Okay. All right. But that's, in my opinion, that should change the station, and I just, I'm sure it can. And what's up and down then? That's volume. And what's side to side? Nothing. Oh, nothing. That's oh. why I can't figure that out. I do like. That's okay. But I like this screen's cool. How are you flipping the screen displays? There's a button on the front. Oh, wow. And uh, interesting. Uh, miles, and this is a tripometer. That's your, I guess, how many miles to next service, I'm guessing. Voltage. <laughs> Maybe, sure. Because my Polaris has that. Polaris has that too. Now, is there another button on the other handlebar? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And this one here is a check mark. So I really did like the GPS. That That's smooth. So how do you zoom in nice. How do you zoom in out? This. Oh wow! And that's nice. It's still it's there. They're there. Yeah, it's wow. Still there. That's pretty good. I know because Harley Davidson goes out pretty quick. No, no, no. The Harley's is good. The the Goldwing's is terrible in that regard. Uh, okay. The Goldwing. You, once you there. get out, yeah. No, this is this is nice. This is good. Now, uh, weather. Weather layer. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Nothing today. But see, that weather overlay would be I awesome know. for road trips. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder if you Charlie can customize. Change drag new widget yeah yeah that's kind of cool that's handy you see with radio station rather than my i can do this let me see if i do this yeah oh, wow instead of having a cut or my tachometer there i can have that there all right oh Good start. Wow. Different. You might as well go in front of the rig. You ready? Yeah, guys. Well, 
also I rode a V-twin having my gold wing and all but this is pretty sweet it's smooth but it has a bit of vibration like most V-twins do it's got power dear lord Although I'm not sure if it has gold wing power, but it's close. It might actually be just about as fast. V-twin feel right. to it. That's what I like about it. So it's got that muscle car feel. Yeah, but it rolls on so quick, so it's, smooth. It's really impressive. Yeah. Okay. All right, you ready to go back? Get out on the highway. We'll try a drag race rolling on. All right, all right, deal. Tell 
Islander's a beast. I don't think it's faster than my goal wing, but it feels faster because it has that Harley V-Twin feel to it. So it's got a bigger adrenaline rush than the goal wing gives you. I like this bike a lot. If I was, if I still had the road glide, I'd probably be trading in for one of these in all honesty. This thing has falls! Oh yeah. Ah, road kill. Alright. easy to find. Now, wow! What's your thoughts on it? They built a better road glide. Yeah, that's, that's what it, what it is. is. Exactly what it is. I it's agree with that. it's a better road glide. It's a it, it, Bob was right. It's a Harley Hot. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Harley Davidson Gold Wing. It's what it's what it is. I never rode your bike, but all I know is this smoothness and that kind of power on my rumbling twin. It has the power, the roll-on power of the Goldwing with the V-twin feel of the Harley. Uh -huh. I love and that, that muscle car adrenaline. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's what it feels. And it's so got cool. just a hint of vibration. That's what I mean. And as you know, it's there. It's yeah. Stuff. Whereas like, the Goldwing is so, so smooth. And that's that, what I don't like about it's, like, it's like you're on glass. I love the seat. So do I. It's like when I when I very Illinois, comfortable. The seat is just instantly hugs you. It, it is. It, it you, you, okay. You. You, you know what it reminds me of? The soft tail. The heritage soft tail yeah, seat. Because the same thing. The heritage soft tail you sat in it. in it. Yeah, this is the same way. Yep. It's a good looking engine. Looks air cooled, but it's not. You know, yeah. It's gonna look, but it's not. I tell you what, it rides so nice. There, it's just so oh. bad. No, it's it's good. awesome. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> it's a better road glide. It's what it is in every way. It's to go off Features? The hop on mine. Oh mine's yeah. It's no slouch. But what a difference! I was like, ooh. That's what I. Oh, I do wish I had that right now. They just, they just rode this, this roadmaster. The roadmaster, yeah. 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 They're jumping on there. I said the yeah. same thing to them. It's yeah. amazing how different it yeah. feels. Yeah. It's the smoothest. It's yeah. so butter. Yeah. I mean, the seat's better than my Goldwings. I think honestly. Hey, what, year, what year is your Goldwing? Tw uh, 2018. 
Also, oh, that is the new design. Yeah. yeah. You know, just one more thing to like about it. I do like the tire pressure monitoring on it, yeah. of course. Yeah. I know you hardly can get it with $1,000 extra. Yeah. No matter what model you buy, unless it's a CVO, yeah, that's the, and that's ridiculous. That's the one thing that I'll say about Indian. They put a lot of stuff on. Stuff. Standard, yep. Yeah. 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 Well, mean. most that's brands are nowadays. Yeah. Harley's not. Yeah. That's a problem. Bang for your buck, man. Yeah. It's not. It's yeah. not good. If I was buying another bike. There's no doubt I'd be buying the Chevy. I'll be honest. Yeah. It, it, if I if I still had the Road Glide, I'd be buying it today probably. Well, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> I think I would. I promise, I wouldn't. Hey, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Like he says, Indian side. You Does it really? Look, look inside. There's a guy on a bike and an Indian. A guy going crazy on a little bike. <laughs> How cute is that? The guy going all crazy on a little bike in there. This is one nitpick about the Goldwing that this does better. Mm -hmm. 60 is straight up and down. I oh, love yes. that. I yes, love yes, that. Yes, yes. But the Goldwing is. You know, it's about your eye will see. Yep. On the Goldwing is it's like here. It's funny because whenever I'm watching your videos on YouTube, I'm trying to look at your speedometer and figure out how fast it's going. Yeah. I have no idea. Well, it and, and, and the windshield isn't just simple up and down. You can change, or it changes the pitch a little. So yeah, it yeah. It has like a spring-loaded pitch thing there. Well, so does the goal wing. If you look at it, uh, wow. the mechanism actually does this. It yeah, kind of does yeah, this, yeah. yeah. So I think this does too. Yeah, it does on the goal wing too. But I also did like too, these little vents do throw air underneath your windshield. So it keeps some air at you a little bit. It isn't just blocking it. I gotta say, if I still had the Roguelite today, I'd be buying this now well i like it a lot it's a fun little scoot ain't it all right so here i am back on my gold wing after riding the indian challenger will i be trading my gold wing in for a challenger no i'm not going to be doing that that challenger is a nice bike if i still had my road glide i'd definitely be trading in for that challenger i mean i don't think i'd even be thinking about it be a done deal but the difference between this goalie and that challenger isn't as big as i thought it would be but the difference is the feeling the challenger is about as smooth as this and about as powerful as this it has great features and tech like this but coupled with that harley beach wind feel that muscle car feel that Beach wind rumble, the slight vibration, the cruiser feel, you know, floorboards and all. I think the Goldwing is a better touring bike, but the Challenger is a better cruiser. Which, you know, that makes sense, I guess. It's what they're designed to do. I mean, this Goldwing is just, it's perfect for me. For riding long distance, for riding back roads, for doing short trips, this bike is ideal. It's it does everything great. But the one thing the Gold Wing is missing compared to that Challenger is that beach wind feel. The Gold Wing doesn't have that. <laughs> the Challenger has it in spades. And Harleys have that beach wind feel too. That's what they're known for. It's what they do best. But the Challenger has the Gold Wing power and efficiency and tech and gadgets and features coupled with that early feel. Man, what a bike. So that's, those are my opinions, our opinions on the Challenger from Indian. I'm sure it's not the most thorough or detailed review on YouTube, but it's my personal opinion, the review of the bike, so. And after riding road glides for 10 years, I gotta say, that Challenger is a better road glide. Sorry, Harley, but it just is. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, please, and subscribe if you want to. See future videos. We're gonna ride on home now. On our <laughs> Honda Goldwing and Harley Street Glide. Leaving the Indian Challenger behind us. Take care, everybody. Ride safe. And see you next time.